Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compile and execute first OpenMP program. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to include header files. So this is the header file for OpenMP library functions, and then I'm including stdio.h and in case we are using some function from stdlib.h. So uh, here then I'm going to write main function, this function have two type of argument, first one is integer, another one is character pointer array. So in this uh, program what we are going to do, we are going to print hello world. Now uh, we want that, that message actually printed by different different threads. So if there are three threads uh, are executed by our program, so there will be three times printing. So I am printing printf hello world. So this is a simple C program. But what I want, I want this statement to be executed by different different thread. So in OpenMP, if you want uh, a statement or a block of statement to be executed by every thread, so what you have to do, you have to use pragma OMP. So this is the directive. Uh, whatever you will write after this one, uh, the meaning of this directive is that every thread has to execute this portion. So if we are having multiple statement in that case, after this line we can use curly press. So let's. Uh, so this is the simplest program, and uh, here we will compile it. This one is saved on desktop. So when you compile, you need to write f open mp. Okay, and then you have to write your name of file. So this one is compiled successfully and then in that so in now what you have to do you have to set number of threads like when you execute your program how many number of threads should be taken so in order to do that you can do this thing you can set environment variable mp num threads and let's say i'm taking four now let's execute our program. So if you can see our program, uh, this hello world is printed four times. Now we are not sure which thread is printing with message. So here what we can do, we can print here one message printed by and here we can write uh, thread ID. So thread ID will be integer type. And how to fetch that? So here we will use one function OMP get thread num. So here uh, and let's print this message on new line. So let's compile it again and execute it. So if you can see, you can see here which thread is printing. So this is the first thread, then the last thread, second last thread, and this is the second thread. So this is the simplest program we have compiled and executed successfully. Thank you very much for watching.